So some of you guys have been asking for a minor league rebuild and I was trying to find a way where I could do it where it would make sense or it would be enjoyable to watch and just be a good video. So today what we're going to do is we're going to see if a minor league team can win a World Series. How this is going to work is we're going to take a minor league team, probably a AAA squad, and just take all those players and move them to the majors and then take the major league players and move them to the minors or trade them away, whatever we do with them. The thing that's gonna make this a minor league rebuild is we can only trade for players that are in other teams minor league system. We can't trade for any players on the major league squad. So that's how it's gonna be difficult. Free agency is kind of the same thing. We can't sign any major league players. So if there's like a draft pick that doesn't get signed and they're sitting in free agency, we can sign them, but we can't sign any players that were on major league rosters so it's going to be a bit of a challenge we can only use minor leaguers for this rebuild and we're going to see if it's possible to win a world series we're going to do a three-year rebuild and i think this is going to be fun so if you guys enjoy it make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see if you missed yesterday's video it's on screen now also in the top right hand corner we did a 162 and 0 rebuild challenge where we tried to go perfect throughout a season it was really good we made a super team and now you got to go watch it to see if we actually did the challenge but for today i think this is going to be a really fun minor league rebuild to see if we can actually win a world series with a minor league team and a bunch of minor leaguers let's hop into it if you guys need any like social media links they're in the description down below and today's video sponsor is seat geek if you guys need tickets for any sort of event go to seat geek they always give the best prices available they let you know if it's a good deal or a bad deal and if you guys Go to checkout, use the code Antortiz and get $20 off. So now let's hop into today's video. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's see how it goes. So the team I'm gonna go with are the, the Padres because I feel like they've got a really good pitching like selection of prospects and they also got a good couple other prospects that we could use. And they also have some young players that can be traded to get other prospects. So here's the team that it starts off with, with the roster that I use. If you guys have missed out on the roster that I'm using, it's on screen now, so you guys are notified of what squad I'm using. So this is like their AAA and their AA squad. So these are the kind of the players I'm gonna be able to use to move to the majors. So there's the squad there. And then for pitching, this is kind of what we're looking like. This is kind of what we're working with. And um, again, here's the AA squad. So I'm gonna be able to pick players from this squad. I can't use any players that are currently on the major league roster so no paddock no robbie erlin lucchese um things like that but we can use any of these players right here and then obviously from the lineup as well so i'm going to get the lineup and roster sorted from like the majors to the minors and things like that and then we're going to do a couple trades to get some better prospects in the squad all right so the team i've assembled is not good and we're definitely gonna have to find some other minor leaguers that we can go to so let's see what we're working with right away so travis jankowski probably will be traded just because sometimes he's on major league roster sometimes he's not last year he played quite a bit so i feel like he would be part of a major league roster anyways so he's probably one of the players that i'm going to look to move outside of that this is kind of what we're working with trammell abrams we got cordero martini mejia Spreen, france mejia probably a player i'm going to try to trade we got rivas edwards and then boog powell so there's definitely some other names that i'm looking to probably like there's names i'm looking to improve on we got quantrill margavicious or margavicious whatever his name is more at home nicks perdomo Baez, reyes yardley kennedy overton stock loop and then castillo so i mean the team doesn't look good the issue is for minor league pitchers there's not too many good ones um i mean we could we could go through the different teams and when you look at what we're working with here there's not there's not too many good ones jonathan holder ooh, he might be a name that i look to try to get so like i said we're only able to trade for players that are in teams minor league system so like this is this is why i'm kind of looking through the names now to see if we can find any minor league relievers to really strengthen our squad so this is kind of what i'm looking at maybe josh james is a long reliever maybe even like a future starter for us tookie tucson okay i like the looks of that um and then when i'm looking at the rest maybe a coda glover um outside of that it's looking like bullpen options are pretty rough uh so we're kind of in a in a tough spot so that's kind of what i'm looking at that's kind of like the whole aim of this is just to use minor leaguers in a rebuild all right so to make this trade work we're taking on pool holes we're just going to release pool holes and then we're gonna have keenan middleton who's actually a reliever in the farm system luckily for the angels and then joe adele we're gonna get another outfielder we're trading manny machado to the angels 
Garrett Richards and Fernando Tatis Jr. are going to get us Wander Franco, Vidal Bruhan, and then Brandon McKay. Good pitcher, good middle middle infielders. I think we're stacking this team a little bit. All right, Francisco Mejia, Luis Urias, and Will Myers are getting us Jonathan VR, a player I'm not going to use or keep. But the ones I really wanted were Ryan Mountcastle, a potential player, and then also uh, Adley Rutschman, a new catcher who I think is going to be a little bit better than uh, Francisco Mejia. All right, it works out. Jonathan VR is going to be traded along with Austin Hedges for Joey Bart, another backup catcher option. All right, Eric Hosmer, Carl Edwards Jr., and Hunter Renfro for Andrew Vaughn and Jose Abreu. I don't want Jose Abreu. I really want Andrew Vaughn, who's a prospect first baseman for the White Sox. Alrighty, Erlin, Yates, and Stammon for Bobby Witt Jr. I'm, I'm literally just trying to stack up on minor leaguers right now. Alrighty, Chris Paddock and Matt Strom for Alex Kirilov and Nelson Cruz. I think that might be it for trades because that gives us a new outfielder. Right. Oh, we still got Margot. I got one more trade for us. All right, Margot for Cabrian Hayes. That's it now. I'm going to cut those extra players that we have, and then I'm going to get my lineup and roster all sorted. I think we've actually got a decent little squad here. I made one more. Luciano for Lucchese. Boom. We're set now. All right, so this team, this team's going to be bad. Like, I already know it. This team's going to be really rough the first year. Oh, boy. Let's take a look at the pitching rotation. So you guys can see pitching, it's not terrible, actually. This is probably, like, the best part of the team. Um, I definitely want to see if I can find other relievers and stuff like that going forward. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with what we have. Quantrill, Knicks, Morejon, Morgavichis. I think that's how it's said. Perdomo, we got McKay, Yardley, Luciano, Middleton, Stock, Loop, and Castillo. That's kind of what we're working with. I'm going to probably look around and see what other relievers we could get from other teams. But for now, not terrible. Lineups wise, I think we're good for the future. And that's going to be the best part because, you know, Martini is probably our best player right now. But we're going to be able to let these other players develop and we should be good. We also have abrams we have adele who i'm hoping is going to come up next year and help us out i'm also going to look to see what other teams have available because i know there's probably players like um uh, like steve pierce who's in the minors uh luke voigt or shella is down in the minors who else do we got because i know there's going to be other teams with other players that are like highly rated that could help us out uh Therese could be a good option going forward so there's definitely some names that i'm going to keep my eye on that i want to like maybe you know take from other teams so uh where are we the padres this is kind of what we're working with for season one let's sim it see how things go can a minor league team win a world series let's find out remember how i said we were gonna be bad oh yeah it was bad 44 and 118 i don't know how this team's gonna do it this is gonna be rough um some players went up quite a bit you guys can see like what we're working with i, I just don't know if we're gonna get the growth that we need to actually like win a world series maybe even make the playoffs that's that's the scary thing because i'm looking at this and i'm like we got some okay results some players did okay some players did all right but no one did like okay robert stock was actually pretty good um but for the most part it was it was rough it was really rough so we already know things went bad. I mean, I'm assuming we got a rookie of the year. Oh, we didn't even get that. Okay. So standings wise, let's take a look at where we are. We're the worst ranked team. We've got second for speed. Everything else is atrocious. And um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go to the off season, see if we can like find anybody that'll help us out. I doubt it. Definitely want to get some new managers and things like that. Help out the squad a little bit more because we need as much help as possible. Um, he was bad. I'm going to let him go. Aaron Warren or Adam Warren. I'm going to let him go too. There's no point in keeping him. Um, let's keep going forward. And obviously arbitration. I'm going to offer it to the people who actually played. So like Perdomo was part of the squad. Middleton was part of the squad. I'm going to let the rest of the guys go. I'm going to offer everybody a contract. So like this is where it gets difficult because I want to find players who didn't pitch at all last year. So he did. Um, who would have been? He did too. So were there any pitchers or like any players that didn't play in the majors last year? And the way to find that out is this, like the 2019 stat will just be like nothing. So technically he really didn't play last year. So he could be a, a player we target, but we do have Rutschman who actually is looking pretty good. Same with the um, Joey Bart. So who else? 
could be an option for us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look through like free agency and stuff, see if I can find anybody. If not, we're just going to have to hop into next season and make some trades and hopefully get someone that's going to help us out. So there was a lot of progression during the off season. Also, we were able to snag a couple players through the rule five draft who didn't play last year and also a couple free agents who were looking really good. So let's take a look and see how we're, we're doing now. So starting rotation doesn't look terrible. Looks solid. Amir Garrett did not pitch last year. Minor leaguer was able to pick him up. Uh, we also got Adam Libertor. He didn't pitch at all, and he really doesn't pitch that much. So he's kind of been like a minor leaguer. Going to pick him up. Uh, we obviously still have Keenan Middleton. Randall Delgado did not pitch at all last year. He's kind of like a minor leaguer. Hasn't really pitched that much throughout his career. So we're going to pick him up. And then obviously Jose Castillo is still there. Um... We also brought in Carter Caps because I didn't know if we were going to be able to find another reliever. So we brought him in just for cover. But so far, I'm liking what we have. We're going to let Luciano develop this season, see how he does. We're actually going to let him be the setup guy. And then we'll just kind of rock like this. We have some really good options that we could bring up um, for the coming seasons for starters and stuff like that. But overall, I really like what we were able to do with the starting rotation and bullpen. The lineup got even stronger. Scooter Jeanette did not play at all last year. So technically he's kind of like a minor leaguer. If, you know, I kind of feel like this one's a little bit like cheating because he didn't really play. I looked at other options that were available. There really weren't like Aaron out there. I guess we could have, but he's still kind of like a, a major leaguer. Um, so, I mean, there are options out there that we could have gotten like Michael Hermosillo. He would have been a, a player we could have done instead. Um, but like for middle infielders, they're really... Maybe this guy instead. You know what? Yeah, I'll do that. Um, just because I kind of feel like the whole Scooter Jeanette is is cheating. I'm going to go for that, that other guy instead. Maybe this guy. He's got deep potential though. This guy's vision's a little bit lower. We'll give him a shot. Why not? Um, it looks really good. Who's going to play second base now? Can this guy play second base? He can't. CJ Abrams. S step right up, dude. Um, but that's the team. I like the, the progression that we had after one year. I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, I feel like this is not a team that should lose 40 games or only win 40 games like it did last year. I'm assuming we're still 30th. Yeah. Uh, but we're moving up in some power ranks and pitching ranks. Um, I still think this team is actually not that bad. Um, are we a playoff team? No, no, but uh, maybe not get last uh, as a possibility. So let's see how things go. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right, baby steps, right? That's how we're going to win this. Baby steps, 61 and 101. Not terrible, but definitely could have been a little bit better. Um, but we're, you know, we're, we're improving slowly. So I guess it's not, it's not terrible. We won a lot more than what we did last year. Um, we got a rookie of the year with Joe Adele and let's see if we're still ranked last. Yep, we are awesome. So let's take a look, see how the pitching rotation went. Uh, Maury Hone had a good year. Okay. W improvements. I will take that for sure. Um, let's take a look at the bullpen. You know, it's not horrible. It, it's it's bad, but it could have been a lot worse. Um, Franchi Cordero looking like he should be like a starter. Like, I don't understand how he would. I mean, Joe Adele is obviously playing in center, but um, it's looking like Franchi Cordero might be a player that needs to stay on the start, like the starting spot. So looking at Andrew Vaughn's looking like a beast. Uh, Joe Adele was iffy. Cabrian Hayes is up to an 81. We got Martini who's playing well. Um, Bruhan, Kirilov, and then, ooh, Rutschman, dude, come on. I need some improvement. Maybe give Joey Bart the start next year. So I looked at other teams' lineups and like pitching rotation to see like who they had in the minors. And it was very comparable to what our starting lineup already was. So I felt like there was no point in trying to acquire new players because our team was very comparable to what was available. So I felt like we might as well just stick with what we got, let the players develop, and then just go from there. So players I'm probably not gonna bring back. Robert Stock, maybe Libertor, uh, Delgado. I mean, we have Luciano down here. We have Carter Caps. Andres Munoz is technically a minor leaguer. He hasn't even ever played. So he's a player I'd be cool with bringing up potentially. 
um and then maybe see if there was like a minor leaguer in free agency that was available now i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see how things go um we still do have players in the the farm system that we haven't even brought up that we could use so that's also a possibility so we'll have to wait and see how things go let's take a look um exclusive negotiation i'm not bringing him back he was so bad um let's keep going and then see what we got here um arbitration wise I'm going to give him one more shot. I'm going to offer everybody arbitration here. Obviously contracts I'm going to give to everybody. And then um, I wonder if there's anybody who didn't pitch last year that we could possibly pick up. It's not looking like it. Um, it's, is he, was he a free agent last year? He's going to be so bad because he's 36. I don't know. I feel like we're not going to be able to find anybody from free agency, unfortunately. So... I think we're just gonna have to stick with what we have unless like a, a prospect snuck through which it doesn't look like it so it's looking like we're gonna have to stick with what we have and just hope that we get super lucky and uh, make the playoffs we did win 60 games and it wasn't terrible so it's a possibility that we get some crazy good progression in the offseason and we end up making the playoffs all right so final season and uh, I kind of messed up because I left this screen on the whole time while i was doing a couple trades and talking about the roster as a whole so let me kind of like backtrack and talk you guys through what i just did and had it all covered up um while i did it so i made i think one or no i made i made two trades adam adovino was sitting in the minors for the yankees and i thought holy cow that is way too good to pass up so i traded for adam adovino um because he was sitting in the minors for the yankees so i was like holy cow i can't i can't pass that up he's a really good reliever we need him and then nikki lopez was sitting in the minors for the cubs and that was just a move that i had to do as well i felt like we needed a little bit better bat and this is kind of what our team's looking like now and you're probably thinking why would adam adovino be in the minors for the yankees i honestly have no idea um because this is probably why, because their entire bullpen is stacked. Um, they've also brought in Robert Stock, which we just traded them. But before that, it that's probably why they didn't have Adovino in there, because they had so many players just shoved into this bullpen. Um, they also have Loai Siga, who I considered trading for. But that's, that's what happened. That's basically how it's going to work. He's going to be our setup guy. Our bullpen currently looks like this. Our starting rotation looks like this. Other players that I looked at for possible um, acquisitions were with the Phillies for like the bullpen options. They had a couple good ones like Nick Vincent doesn't look terrible at all. Uh, Mike Morin doesn't look bad um, for options that we could have brought in. And then for hitters, I looked at the Cubs like we got that Nicky Lopez trade. Uh, Tony Kemp was available. And even in the Diamondbacks, they have Jose Martinez now. And he's sitting in um, AAA, I believe. So we're going to take a look at that real quick. He's right here. So I thought about getting him just because he's kind of a glitchy bat. But I was looking at our current lineup. And I didn't think he really would have taken anybody out. Um, like, I mean, our team looks pretty comparable to what, you know, Jose Martinez hitting stats are. So we're going to go like this. I don't know if we're going to make the postseason. We're ranked 29th. We'll see. We'll sim it out. See what happens. So you guys can see the record on screen now. 76 and 86. I mean, I have a feeling we weren't too far off from the postseason. I'm going to take a look. 29 games in the division. 13 out in the wild card. We're 27th overall. And I mean, with the stipulation of only being able to use players that were like minor leaguers and really had no major league experience i i mean that was that was a huge huge test like i could have started off with a, a team of minor leaguers and then just been like all right who can i sign who can i trade for that's going to make this team better and just had no uh just no challenge no stipulations no no guidelines but that would have been way too easy and i was really interested to see if a team of minor leaguers could have made the playoffs if the team of minor leaguers could have pushed for a world series chance and they couldn't you know 
and it, it, it makes sense it really does you know when you if i would have given it maybe another two three years to really let these players develop then i definitely see them making the postseason and becoming a scary good team i mean in three years joe adele went from like what a 68 to a 77 wander franco went from a 68 to a 77 andrew vaughn went from like a 66 to an 80 cabrian hayes was like a a 70 he's an 84 now so you can see that there is huge development in these players and in a three-year window, it's just too small of a window to do. And I want to keep this video kind of short just to kind of keep it so you guys can get an idea. Can this team win a World Series? It can't. But if you gave it another two, three years, I definitely think it could. I'm actually interested to see what rating we were because I didn't I didn't see when I uh, went through the standing. So let's take a look. We're 27, so we've moved up. And I have a feeling after like next year and the year after that we'd be one of the best teams in baseball. So unfortunately, we weren't able to do it, but that's just the way things go. Sometimes you're not always able to make it past the first round of the playoffs because you lose to the wildcard team. You know, that's how things go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, minor league rebuild. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Again, we just weren't able to win the World Series. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Here, guys, if you're new to the channel, there's be the subscribe button also a video that's recommended by youtube for you to watch and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video drop a like subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and i'll catch you all in the next video peace